because we're going to make a dishcloth. So the first thing you do is you take your yarn and you go around your finger until you have a circle. And then you pull the extra thread through the circle to make a slip knot. Let me show you that again. Make a circle. You turn your circle over and you pull that long loose thread through and that makes a slip knot. Then you tighten it on your hook. I'm using a G hook. And you make you yarn over, which is you've got your thread like this, and you go back behind your thread and you pull it through that hole. And you keep doing that, you make 29. Once you have your 29, this, these stitches you've made right here are called a chain stitch. So you go to the second chain from the hook, and you yarn over, and on that second chain from the hook, you go under the first, the two loops, so that there's one loop on the bottom and two on the top, and you pull it through, and then you yarn over and pull it through all three of your loops. And that's called a half double crochet. And you continue doing that all the way across your 29 chain stitches. And you yarn, you yarn over, put it under the two, and leave the one on the bottom, pull it, yarn over and pull it through all three all the way across. My thread's kind of tangled here. I'm using, <clears throat> for dishcloths, you usually use cotton yarn, 100% cotton yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream and Mistletoe is the color. Yarn over, go under your two loops, pull it through, and then yarn over and pull it through all three loops on your hook. That's the yarn there for a minute. This yarn is, my yarn is tangled up. Let's see if I can get that straightened out. Okay, I got the yarn straight, so you yarn over under your two loops, yarn over and pull it through the three. And just keep doing that until you get all the way to the end. We're almost there, almost at the end. And 
yarn over under your two, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through all three loops. And you're on your last one, you yarn over, go under your two, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through your three, oh, thread got a little unraveled there. Yarn over and pull it through your three. Now you're at the end. What you want to do is chain, which is just pull, yarn over and pull it through, and yarn over and pull it through twice. And then you yarn over, you turn, turn your work, and you yarn over, and you go into that first set of stitches there, and you yarn over and pull it through all three loops on the hook. And you just keep doing that all the way across. <laughs> until your dishcloth measures eight inches and you can use a ruler to measure or you can use a sewing tape measure which is what I use to measure mine <clears throat> and that's oh let's see that's and that's eight inches and this is what it will look like when it's done with your uh, yarn and you can basically choose any colors you want any any colors of yarn but it must for the dish claws and dish towels if you do dish towels it's got to be a hundred percent cotton so um, that's how you make a dish cloth